Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be playing some uh, Gen X Atlantean Mermills. And so it looks like our opponent is activating instant fusion here. Only 13 in the extra deck. And this card. This card is a Barox. <laughs> a frenzied panda press Ryu Kishin. <laughs> it's all about the frenzy panda. Oh, okay, so he is going to go for a sync. That's cool with me. I got my control. So if I like that sync, I'll just uh, I'll just take it for myself. Um I'm gonna go for our first turn. 27 meter. Well, hopefully, we can draw to the veil that we don't play. <laughs> so, um, I can, uh, when this card is sent to the graveyard for a water monster's effect, I get to target one face card my opponent controls and destroy it. So, my opponent here, um, he used two cards essentially to make one, although maybe, you know, he wants to get the monsters out of his hands um, for those infernity plays. So, we are going to send this to the graveyard. And this to the graveyard. And then we are going to summon Mirrell. Abyss Miglo. So this is a, a new card. It's not out yet. I believe it's coming out in Abyss Rising. It's the Abyss that's coming out in Abyss Rising. Um, so when uh, the Atlantean Dragoons are discarded for a uh, monster's effect, I can add one uh, Sea Serpent type monster from my deck to my hand, except for himself. So that will be Deep Sea Diva. Because I like the, Oh, how would I draw that next turn? So I really like this card. It's pretty good. Um, and then um, also the other one's effect, uh, again, Heavy Infantry, destroys one face up card, so that would be that from uh, Heavy. Uh, so yeah, that one's effect gets to pop a face up card, pretty good stuff. And then also, <laughs> look at all this, uh, all these effects, then uh, Abyss effect. Uh, so I mean, there's just so much advantage going on right here, and I know in Fernies they got a new card in Fernie General or something like that, it's some general card. Uh, and it really helps out Infernities. It's pretty good. It's for XYZs more so because it negates the Infernities effects that you special summon. Um, now we get to add Abyss Sphere to our hand. So, like, look at all that advantage I was able to obtain. Um, maybe I'll play it in the blue. Perhaps just had a bad hand. But you can see I still have not normal summoned. Uh, I don't really feel it's necessary to normal summon at, at this point in the game. I mean, I could go for a huge push and probably end up beating him by using Reborn plus Diva. But yeah, I don't really want to run into the pack row of. Um, Stuff that can potentially hurt, like Mirror Force. <laughs> uh, and so now we are going to set this, and we'll end it right there. So just a 24 beater right now. Uh, although I can tribute uh, one water monster. Is it, is it uh, this one? Yeah, I can tribute one water monster. And then um, I'm going to be able to uh, attack twice. And I could do that next turn. Uh, so he's going to go for... Some of those, I wish I had uh, the Chimera Tech because, uh, is this machine? Oh no, he's Fiend. He looks like a machine, does he not? Okay, but that's okay. I'll be taking 300 points of damage. And then now I can activate this if I wish. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. Um, so we could just take 21. So I'll show you my play after this and it'll be pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we are going to summon D.Va. It doesn't matter if we get her, if it's her effect or not, but she does have to be on the field. And then we're just going to mind control the Cyber Dragon. So, our opponent kind of went like all in. I mean, if I block her with the field and this successfully goes off, he'll be in a kind of bad spot. Uh, so, is our effect good for D.Va? I'll give him a second. He says yes. And then what will we get? Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter um, what we get because most likely we're just going to let it die. <laughs> Um, I don't really need another one of these, so I guess I can go for this. Uh, also, you know, I could make a gachi if I wish to do that. Also, I can get a, an additional normal summon. This is what Atlantean Heavy Infantry does. So, we are just going to go for this. And uh, we'll take uh, that Cyber Dragon away. We're going to see a Dark Bribe. Okay, that's fine. Um, ooh, Genex Undine. I wish I had that card earlier. Maybe we should have my control first. Uh, but, you know, it's not that bad because um, I can just uh, see what do I have in my grave. Um, or if I go for an 8. I, I, what I wanted to do was block Rosa Field, chain this, and then I'd get a, uh, a, another Atlantean um, Mermail, and then I'd get a 24 beater out, and then I could Reborn, and then that would be game. Um, but I might have to just use Reborn, and... Uh, well, this is a 5, isn't it? Although it won't be game if I do that. Um, kind of disappointing. I could... Um, Uh, sea serpent type monster. Okay, so this is a aqua. 
So it doesn't really work like that. Uh, I could uh, get this out though, but I, I don't feel like it's necessary. I feel like I'll just maintain so much um, control if I go for this and I go for his um, Barox here. Um, and then we'll just uh, go for the, we'll play anyways. We'll just go for Black Rose. Because it probably is a face down Necromancer and I don't want to deal with that. It just takes too long. Okay, so you can he can activate Torrential. That's fine with me. That's fine. And then we can just activate this. That also dies. Oh, it's Dandelion. Oh, okay. Uh, Dandy only gets two tokens. Okay. Um, all right, so we're just gonna activate this. And then we get to a special summon, uh, one mermail monster from our deck, and then it dies, but it's fine. Because um, when this card um, is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it uh, gets this awesome effect. And the awesome effect is um, it can special summon any mermail um, except for herself. So that is kind of a downside. Uh, it's basically like you can't miss a tomato for another one. Oh, that's fine. You want to kill this? I am 100% okay with this. I don't know what he's playing. It looked kind of like Infernies at first, but I don't understand Beetle. Maybe that's just... I don't know. He's had a few good cards. The Torrential's pretty good. Um, and so I will take some damage here, though. So I will take um, 400. And then her effect would activate. Um, Abyss Sphere does negate the uh, monster's effect, but her effect activates in the graveyard. So... Um, uh, let's get her effect, and we can just special summon a 24 beater, and Thunder King can't stop this because... Uh, Thunder King couldn't stop a card like Mystic Tomato. So basically we get a 24 beater out and we'll be secure here, I would say. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, unfortunately, um, I will not be able to uh, send and add because Thunder King stops me from doing that. Um, and this is just zero, all of that has zero attack as well. I mean, I might as well summon Controller. Controller doesn't really do me any good anyways. Uh, it's just kind of a card that you, know, you need to play when you play the uh, Genix build. So we are going to uh, attack over that, uh, attack over the token. Um, I doubt he is playing Fernies, but I don't know. Um, I mean, his deck kind of seems all over the place. I'm sure you guys would agree with me. Um, instant infusion plus the, I don't know, like planets with Infernities? Uh, I don't know. That just seems strange to me. What is this guy, 600? Okay. It's cool. I'm still four, 420. <laughs> um, Let's see what do I want to do. I just attack. I don't want to run into like another torrential or something like that. This will be 3,800, so he'll have next turn to do something, and uh, yeah. I don't think he'll really be able to do much. Uh, I mean, I have another one of these to get another 24 beater, essentially. Um, but oh, this card, by the way, it uh, gets destroyed. Um, uh, yeah, it gets destroyed uh, during your opponent's next end phase after activation. But he attacked into me, so it's fine. So he's activating the effect of Gale. Okay. And he will target that, which makes it 1,200. And that way he'd be able to attack over it. And then I would take 100 points of damage. But yeah, I, I definitely could have ended it if, you know, I knew what the back row was. But I didn't want to <laughs> risk it. Uh, I have another one of these. This is pretty good. Uh, we're just going to go for this. Uh, I mean, if he has an answer, good. <laughs> um, let's see if we, let's see, like, uh, some judgments. I mean, really, very limited things he can really do. Um, I'm going to send a water monster from my deck to my graveyard. Is it okay? Yes? No? Okay, I, I'm going to assume it's okay. And we will send this guy. This guy, he pops face down cards, or well, set cards. And so um, we'll send him to the graveyard. And it's just um, uh, one water monster, so it's any water monster, which makes it really good. And then uh, then we have to uh, add the controller. Uh, one thing, you have to play the controller, though. Uh, if you do not um, play controller, you can't send the monster. If you're, or if you don't have the target, you can't. Um, I had no idea what this guy is playing. It seems all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. But you, you could definitely just see how the deck works, and that was the point of this video, me uh, playing this deck. Um, so we're going to pop the set card, and then um, we'll be able to deal a significant amount of uh, damage right now. So he hits us all. Oh, 
Soul Judgment. I was talking about that card earlier. Um, but now, um, um, yeah, that one won't have an effect. This one will, though. So uh, we can send this to the graveyard, and we'll send this to the graveyard. And then we'll special summon this guy. And then um, I only play two Abyss Spheres in this build because of the Gen X. Um, so I do not have um, another trap to go for. And that part is optional, I believe. Uh, Oh, it, it is not optional, but I mean, you can still special summon it. There's no restriction on that. Um, and then we would get uh, heavy infantry, and then we would pop that. And then, um, is it tribute or is it destroy? Yeah, it's tribute. So I was thinking I can go for like uh, an acid golem, and then uh, just destroy. Well, it doesn't really matter at that point. <laughs> um, so I mean, at this point, I mean, it's already a game. But I'm just kind of show you guys how much you can like go for aggressive plays in this deck. So, um, this card can attack twice, and it's 48 plus 14. So that would be... I mean, he's already dead, but... Um, that's full of 6,200 points of damage, so that that is relatively decent damage. And I could still activate this, um, just for giggles. I mean, and I can get any mermail out. And then, yeah. So, at that point, I can deal another 1,500 points of damage. Uh, and that would be 7,700 points. That's almost game. Uh, if I overlaid this for Acid Golem, I get in 100 more damage, which would be 78. Still wouldn't have been game, but um, I was hoping for you to sink. Oh, well, that's true. Genesis Controller is something, yeah. But I had, like, too many cards. You can just see how much this deck can go for, like, advantage plays, but I have no idea what he's playing. But he had Reborn, he had Solemn Judgment, he had Torrential Tribute. I think what really caused him, like, the minus was... Um, going instant fusion plus this, like using two cards to make one card, and then I was able to just be like, it's cool. I get, I can just discard and get effects. It's pretty good. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon signing out.